short and sweet. We need to be in the FX menu set for dynamic simulations. In the fluids menu, we find the 3D container. It creates a box with a grid. The grid shows us the resolution, by the way. When we run the simulation, steam evaporates from the center and it spreads all around, but it does not escape from the container. I rotate the container box by about 90 degrees and delete the emitter, that tiny dot in the center of the box. In the front or side window, we'll create the number three now. Two curves. And a loft. The loft icon is in the blue shelf. We don't need the curves anymore, so we can delete them. And in my case, the number three appears rectangular to the container grid. That's why I need to rotate it to have it parallel to the container grid. Now I need to define the three as the new emitter. Let's select both the container and the three and then fluids, add edit contents and emit from object. Play back the simulation, hide the geometry if you want. The three serves as the emitter. The attribute editor provides dozens of parameters for this simulation. You can cut off the emission after a couple of frames, change the color, the temperature, the viscosity, and of course the resolution. For rendering you need a light, and once you've rendered a few frames, load them into your video editing software and reverse the sequence. Cheers.